Hey guys, Exodus here, and welcome to Cruel Ed Balls. A little bit ago, I covered the module called Ed Balls, which involved Caesar shifting a bunch of letters until you could spell the, the name Ed Balls. However, the identifying thing for this module is the red border around the picture, meaning you're dealing with Cruel Ed Balls. In this case, there is something slightly different that happens. Each laser is still receiver shifted by a fixed amount. But then each laser is also converted to flag semaphore, rotated by a mode for 45, which includes nothing, and converted back into a letter. A letter will always be rotated onto another letter, never a numeral or, or cancel symbols, so anything that isn't a letter. So to design this module, we're going to need to undo the transformations to return turn the letters to original form and into the message Ed Balls. One of the most difficult parts about this is they are encoded by performing each of the following transformations exactly once, but not necessarily in this order, so they might be Caesar shifted then rotated or rotated then Caesar shifted. So, I'm going to use the lookup table version of this to make it a little bit easier. Where I'm going to use this table down here to, to shift these letters across 45 degrees. And we're going to be basically checking two different cases, either the Caesar shifting being done first, or the rotating do been done first. Of course if it's rotated by if it gets rotated by one, that not by one, by nothing, then it doesn't really matter which way around it happened. If it didn't we might have a little bit more work cut out for us. So let's first assume that the Caesar shifting was done first, meaning that the rotating would have been done second, or first when we're decrypting. So let's find our letters. We have N, S, E, X, B, O. And I'm going to say, remember what order you do these in, just so you don't get confused with the buns if you find a solution. So basically, the sort of shape we have is sort of this, and we remember that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, basically. So the reason I've got crypty open here is I'm going to type in the letters we have, and we go through basically every shift possibility to see if any of them give us E, D, B, A, L, and S. All, all of them have to be there. So, let's just look through these. Okay, it's not that one. So let's shift everything to the left. So we now have FM VJ Y H and go through these. This might take a few, this might take a little bit if we get unlucky. Let's set it right to zero so more of this will be loop background. Didn't see like that one. 
sorry, this takes forever in the end. Change everything across. We now have x e y u q a. Check this one. Not looking like it. Oh. Shift again. J V P Q K or Q P K. G. And it's basically just going to be this over and over again. <laughs> Try and figure out what the final solution is going to be. There is probably a logical way you can narrow down the possibilities, but this is basically showing that the brute force method will work, it just might take you a while. <laughs> If someone has a quicker method, feel free to make a, a separate video for this. It's just this one's been not done for a while and I wanted to get it done. Okay, I'll see. Z. Checking through this again. Here we have PQ BC SW. You can only do something with like the fact that some of the letters will be right next to each other. But of course that depends on whether the season was done first or the semaphore rotations was done first. Nope. You can see something here. We know that Yeah, this can't be it because one of them would have ended up being a being a letter, but not a letter. So we can shift across again. So we then have F M no B C M F E T. Oh, there we are. So here we have the final where the letters are, which correspond to the letters we needed. I just realised that I could have literally just gone right and I would have found it. <laughs> so now that we have the letters, we if we transpose these correctly. Then we can now press the buttons in the order of four, five, two, one, three, three, six. Oh yeah, so much. Oh. How long does it take me? Let's do the other example as well then. So yeah, you can see it will take a little bit. To get there, but and it might take even longer if you end up getting the other case, of course, that the circle was rotated first and then Caesar shifted, meaning you would have to de Caesar shift it. So, using this table first to find a different 
find a different set of letters and then rotate them round, basically, by moving across on the table, basically. So, first we just have what we have here, TOU, ISN. And let's go through again. I feel like when you get like quick with it, you could possibly speed through these checks. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this one ends up being. Hang on, I forgot to do the thing I mentioned, which is get these keep these in the same order. So this time we have. This sort of shape, and we have one, two, that's three, that's two, four, five, and six. So now shifting them along, we have. We have in the order O H P B M F Go through them. I keep seeing ones that are close but not quite here. <laughs> Next one, we have H A I N E X. I'm not going to hope for this one. I think we have. It doesn't seem like it's going to be right, this one. That's close. <laughs> oh. Next possibility. A, G, B, F. BJ. Don't think it's going to be this one either. No, it's not that one either. So I feel like we can actually subvert part of it here because if we're assuming that the the Caesar shifting was is done first, the Caesar shifting was done first, the letters will still be within the same sort of distances shown here. So if we don't have two pairs of letters that are next to each other, then we can probably skip it. So in this case, this one's not going to be it. So we have one pair, not the a second one. And like last time, shifting along again give, gives us one that doesn't work. And probably enough, doing it again doesn't work either. We're back to where we started. Meaning, what's actually happened is the rotation was done first. And the Caesar shifting was done second. So. I feel like we could technically highlight the letters here. To 
get an idea of what we want. But now we've got to find the letters up here. T O U I S and N. We can use a, a shape from before here. I see that that doesn't match this sort of shape. So yeah, I think we can just then just move everything along. That that is the same shape, right? <laughs> so gap of four, gap of three. Okay, this one will give us a shape that looks like this. That's not right. Gonna be right either. Try this now. That will give us K P Q U W V. That's not the right shape either. L Q R R here. Oh, this is looking possible. V W X. Oh, possibility here. Because this shape lines up with the other shape we're looking for. So we found what it is, but now we had to find what the order of the buttons is, given what we originally had. So I'm going to keep note of what letters we had for this. And now we're going to re-highlight what we had to see what order that goes in. T-O-U-I-S-N. So we're going in the order of middle of, middle of the group of three, right of the group of two, right of the group of three, the one by itself, the left of the group of three, and the left of the group of two. And now getting everything back to where we had it. L Q R V W X means that the buttons line up with W they line up with W then R then X then L, then V, then Q. Now re-highlighting those. Q, R, L, V, W and X. Along with the other shape, the egg ball shape. Meaning, if we fill this in, B goes there, D, E, D, R goes to the L, the W is the A, the X is the B, and the V is yes. If you think of, think of it sort of, if we started here, we would first rotate the flags to get over to here, and then shift it. So what we need to do is shift back across again. So if you've done this right, E, 
D B A L L S. So if you see that, the S actually ended up being actually an S. <laughs> So that was Cruel Ed Balls. Slightly more work than previously, but hopefully sort of on a fair one of what you're meant to do. There are two basically two cases you have to check. Either rotating the flag and then Caesar shifting through, or Caesar shifting through, then rotating the flags. And using this lookup table makes it slightly more easier to visualise that. Just note the repetitions of the last row in the lookup table will mean that, that the rotations you do, like when I was highlighting these shapes, with L and R, basically with L, R and D, there are two possibilities for where those letters can end up. So have a look at both of those first. So. That was Cruel Ed Balls. Hopefully the module makes a bit more sense now. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'll see you later. <laughs>